Well, hello, YouTubers. Um, I just want to quickly show you how to use add mobs with Mono for Android. Um, that's one of the first things that I tried to do, and it was somewhat complicated. I didn't find good documentation on how to tap directly into the jar methods um, uh, via Visual Studio. Um, add mobs doesn't have an SDK for Visual Studio yet. Uh, for Mono for Android, so um, what I did find was a nice um, a nice project on uh, GitHub.com. Uh, the the, the uh, link is on the description below, um, and this um, has a really nice simple project, and it's really easy to get uh, to get started. The only other thing that you're gonna need plus, uh, besides this open project, uh, which was done by James Monte Magno. Um, is actually a publisher ID from your AdMob account and to get that if you're familiar with AdMob is that you sign up for AdMob and then you create a new app and then inside the app and when you go to management you can see a publisher ID in there uh, that shouldn't that shouldn't be very hard uh, so let's go ahead and get this uh, open project from github uh, so just navigate to github and in here you have a, um, a zip button and when you click, click there, you're gonna get the zip file. Uh, once it's done downloading, uh, I am just going to extract that file. Let me go ahead. I'm actually gonna close that. Uh, I'm going to extract this file to my desktop, and then I'm gonna use uh, Visual Studio 2010 to actually open the project. So let's take a look at it. Once the project's open you should navigate to the uh, layout and um, actually going to open this file here change the layout to Android 2.0 2.2 version 8 and then once uh, once the layout has rendered you go go to source and then in here you can add your publisher ID again the publisher ID you get from AdMob each app that you create has a different publisher ID in there and so I'm gonna go ahead and add my publisher ID in here um, you can try using it I, I don't know how long I'm gonna have available this is just a test one I might delete it right after the well I'm gonna do some more testing so <laughs> if it's just a few days after it might work uh, for you but uh, I would recommend getting your own because I don't know how long I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep this one so um, anyways um, this is my phone right here this is my phone actually I'm not using the emulator I'm actually using the phone uh, it's connected as you can see and um, it's under I have the uh, I'm gonna go under system settings and under developer options and you can see that I have the USB uh, debug turned on I don't, I don't know if you can actually see because it's so small on the screen but uh, anyways um, I have under uh, USB debugging and I'm gonna go ahead and press, and press play here and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this Oh, actually it's asking me for the device I'm gonna click OK and then as you can barely see hopefully it's not all fuzzy it's gonna kick in in just a second here so it's going to come up and in just a moment you're gonna be able to actually see the ad on the phone so um, it's as simple as that. Um, I haven't I haven't played very much. Oh, the cable got disconnected. Um, so I haven't um, played very much with the open project, but this is a really nice start. So um, if you wanted to, at this point, I mean, you can shift, you can remove this button, and you can uh, shift the ad around. So now we don't have this button anymore. I have this button anymore. I go ahead and then just reconnect my phone here. Okay. My cable's kind of loose. Um, let me go ahead and pr press play. Press play one more time. Click OK. I just want to see that refresh add button going away. <laughs> And it's about to come up. And there it is. So now you have the ad without the uh, refresh ad button. Um, 
I'm going to try to make that part a little larger on the video. Hopefully, that will work just fine. But anyways, nice little project, nice little starter project for the AdMob for Android. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, and uh, post your comments below. Thank you. Bye.